Welcome back to another video. It's Black Friday week this week. So for today's video, we did want to bring you the full Eventuri. We've now got the turbo tube as well as the intake fitted to our FL5. It looks and drives very, very well. So we wanted to get it onto the dyno to see how it really performs. We've still got more to bring you. We've got the hybrid racing short shifter. It's the left-hand drive model. So we're comparing it to what's in the right-hand drive car to see if it's cross compatible for the guys at hybrid racing. As I mentioned, it is Black Friday week this week and we've got loads of savings on the website. The staff have been working tirelessly to get the discounts listed on the website and start shipping out some of those orders, trying to get them to you as fast as possible. So if you've got your eye on something, I know I certainly have, I've been holding off to buy myself a laptop. Deals came up, so I've gone ahead and bought one. So if there's anything that you've got your eye on, you've been thinking about, go and have a look at the website because the savings to be had this week are phenomenal. We're not gonna have prices this low for a long, long time again, probably not until next year. And with the way inflation's going and the cost of living, prices are never gonna be this low again. So go ahead, take a look. And if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us. But for today's video, it's something that's been sitting on my desk for a little while now. It's the Owl Plus Aero Guards, a really nice OEM upgrade that's just gonna slot in behind the front wheels and give a little bit more protection to the paintwork. Just over my shoulder here, you can see the hybrid racing short shifter that we're gonna be fitting in the coming week's time. But for today, we're gonna to be looking at the Owl Plus Aero Guards. These come all the way from Sydney, Australia, so the other side of the world for us. And these have been designed by an FL5 owner. You can really see the attention to detail that has gone into these from the packaging down to the product. They've used S2000 type front across the packaging as well as on the product itself. I've had a quick look over the installation manual and it looks a pretty simple install. We're gonna unscrew the wheel arch liners, slot these down the back, screw it back together, and we've got a bit more protection. As the arch liners are gonna be a really nice OEM Plus upgrade, I wanted to agree a deal to allow us to become UK and Europe distributor. So if you're interested in a set for your car, head over to our website as they've just gone live today and we've got stock arriving in the coming weeks. Let's take a look at what's inside the package and what we've got to install. So we've got two metal arch liners there. And what's also included, and again, keeping the whole product OEM Plus focused, is we've got a whole load of Honda clips. So fitment is gonna be perfect on these. So the AeroGuards will be easy enough to get fitted with the car on the ground, but for today, we're gonna to get the car up on the lift and have a good look around at what we're doing. So before we get started, should we have a quick look at the Venturi? So a dead easy install and gonna offer a lot of rock protection down the side of the car. Clearly a lot cheaper than putting PPF on the car itself. So a worthwhile investment if you're wanting to look after some of your paintwork. You'll notice when I was fitting, both of the clips actually broke, the edges of them come off. And clearly another reason why we've been supplied with OEM fixings top and bottom. If you've got a keen eye for detail as well, you would have seen that I've had a little bit of rubbing here from where the car's lowered with the big wheels and tires on it. So I'm not too sure how long this clip is gonna stay put, but we may end up having to replace it with very similar Honda clips like these. So the driver's side done, we're gonna move over to the passenger side now.
dead easy installation today and a real tick in the box for an OEM Plus upgrade. Apologies, it's a short one, but we hope you'll appreciate the Black Friday savings over watching a longer format video this week. The car itself is about to head back over to Germany next week, where it's not going to the Nürburgring, but it's going to the Essen Motor Show. It's on display on the Eventuri stand, where you'll be able to have a good look around the new intake and the rest of the car. So if you're in and around Germany, particularly at the Essen Motor Show, feel free to go and chat to the guys at Eventuri and have a good look at the FL5. If you haven't already, think about hitting the subscribe button, turn notifications on, as always, give the video a like and leave us a comment below.